Check up to two, pop a golf, left turn approved, runway two six left, the taxiway pop a clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, two six left, left turn approved, two pop a golf. All right, cleared us to take off. And the cameras are running, so we're looking good. Uh, so I'm going to kind of talk you through, you through everything I'm doing just for fun, you know? Okay. I double check, make sure, just because they cleared out, just to make sure nobody's landing. I was on an airport one time, the guy says, clear for landing, and then also there's a plane about to touch down. And I'm like, really, dude? And he's like, wait, 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 wait. I'm like, yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> you know? I had the brake on holding the blade there, so I'm going to take the blade to flight mode. Then there's a little button on my thumb on the stick here. I'm going to push it with my thumb, but as it grabs the blade and starts it spinning, the rotor speed is down there, it says rotor, and we want to go up to that yellow tick mark, it's 200. That just means everything is cool. Then it's a four step to take off. One, I take my thumb off that button, I bring the stick back, I release the brakes and we roll. Now I can literally let go of everything right now and nothing crazy happens, you know? We're just rolling along. Pretty soon the nose floats off the ground like we're popping a wheelie, just like that. And then I add a little more power and then it just lifts off the ground when it's ready. Just like that. And then you ready to go up? Yeah. Let's go up. That's the six Charlie Echo. Uh, based over Cal Air approved, landing at the Edison ramp will be at your risk. When uh, 260 at 13 got 20, somewhere at 2983. Man, we're at 1,000 feet already. How about that? Yeah, it's not very it's so shaky. It's kind of just turning side to side. Uh, it is. Yeah, it's not too bad. I can actually let everything go, see? Yeah. And you can't do that in a helicopter. You have to be on everything all yeah. the time. But this thing is pretty stable. So this is our speed, see how it's 50? Yeah. If you put the nose down just a little bit, our speed will pick up actually. So that's speed, that's fast, that's slow, you know? There's no speed that's too slow on this thing. You know, like an airplane, it gets too slow, it can, it can stall, it fall. Uh, yeah, like this can't do that. No traffic, uh, which is pretty cool. mile final. So, I remember I said you could fly kind of as slow as you wanted on this thing. If I just pull the stick back, We'll get slow, if you look to the side there, we'll kind of stop. Now if you look at the airspeed, we'll go to zero. We'll start coming down, but that's okay. To get going again, I just put the nose down a little bit, and then the speed picks back up. Okay. That's it. But it doesn't drop out of the sky or yeah, anything yeah. like that. Now it literally will turn on a dime, so I'll show you how that works. By just coming up here, if I want to turn around, I just step on the pedal. We were talking about the rudder pedals earlier. Yeah. I step on the rudder pedal like this, a little tilt, and we can just kind of spin it around the spot. It turns instant instantly. This turns instantly, yeah. So we're gonna do the uh, the Top Gun trench run down here. <laughs> we'll only pull about 10 G's. <laughs> well, the other way you help me is if you do see a big bird coming at me that I don't see, please let me know. Okay. <laughs> I did hit a bird in Florida one time. It flew right at me and then went right up through the blades. What happened then? Uh, it didn't hurt the blades any, but it wasn't really good for the bird. Huh, yeah. <laughs> Bird right there. Oh, thank you. That's a hawk. That's a rock. There's also a family down here of bald eagles, which is kind of cool. All right, here's our trench run. Right. Captain Grand Thunder Eagle, here they are. Sure, also make it. Two three thousand five hundred, heading back to Corona. Like that is. It's a little gusty down here, huh? Oh yeah. Uh, I guess we don't want to hit those trees, huh? <laughs> It'll be a spin, we'll just do like a turn. All I do is I slow it down by pulling back on the stick, and then I start my turn by pushing the stick kind of so I start, it's kind of leaning into it. Okay. Then I step on the pedal, and then just see it, just step it on the pedal, it just turns us okay. around in a circle. 6716 Zulu, 4700 south, southwest corner. We do it right like that. All right, when we get down to 16, how do we keep from going down lower? Uh, race to power. Yeah, perfect. All right, so let's keep on going to 16. The 4-3 Echo remain at or below 2,500. All right, that's, below 2, that's a little bit of power. 4-3 Echo. All right, that should do it. That should keep us around 16. Keep up a golf, runway 26 right clear to land, wind. 
24013 gets 20. Clear to land, 26 right, 2 5 golf. This is a 365 at Casir Chino Tower, make left close traffic, runway 26 left, clear for takeoff. Runway 26 left, clear for takeoff, make left close traffic. Okay, Casier. so I'd say if we were a regular plane, we'd probably be a little high for the runway, don't you think? Yeah. <laughs> Me too. Alright, but we don't really care. <laughs> now we're going to get right up here to the runway. You can ride along if you want. I'll show you how to do it. And uh, all we're going to do is we're going to pretend like, oop, the engine just died on us. Uh -huh. So what do we do? We're going to float straight down. Weird, huh? We're actually, it's we're, like a parachute. It's like a parachute. That's exactly what it is. We're actually backing up. That's funny. All right, when we get down close, we want to land at about 60. So we're going to put the nose down to get that 60 back up. Even we have no engine power, but we're just like putting the nose down to get our speed. There we go. When we get close to the ground, we're just going to pull back on the stick. Just kind of float down the ground. We want to set down. We just kind of set it back on the ground like this. Come on, how easy is that? Stand by, be a minute or two, got an IFR Galaxy jet on final. Standing by, two will be done. These things are really easy to land. I've got an RA requirement up to whatever it takes us to right now. All right. So we're not officially off the runway until we cross this yellow line over here. Okay. Find out, because here, extend down, and I'll call the base. You said that one, you'll call the base. Find out, because here. We'll go over to the ground control. Right back to via Papa Cross from where to us. This is right via Papa Cross 2 1. Thank you, Juliet. Chino Ground, Gyro 2 Papa Golf, off 2 6 right back to Eagle Staff. Gyro 2 C 2 Papa Golf, Chino Ground behind the Cherokee head, back via Delta Mike today. Delta Mike behind the Cherokee 2 Papa Golf. A blade was kind of sideways, but I hit a button and kind of moved it at the front there. Makes it easier than oh, okay. drive yeah. through four and four, Julie. Charlie, with November, we're just to the north of you on this taxiway. Uh, yeah, when the thing's hanging way out to the side like that, it gets really kind of tippy, you know? Yeah. And uh, like like with wheelbarrows, like, whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but one of the blades like this, it travels nice. Kind of follow for Julie, Charlie, Chino Ground, runway two to try, taxi the uh, Kilo Alpha cross runway two. Kilo Alpha cross two one and taxi to runway two. Uh...